The facts of life are do what you love doing. Yeah. Never give up. Mm-hmm. You know, get what you're worth. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're three key points yeah. that some people don't get their whole life. But yet, can I just say this quickly? I see so many people share about it, talk about it, but nobody does it. And that's my big thing. And that's why, well, like I told you, when I stood up in that third round and I was just like, man, I can't, I can't win. But I'm a man of my word. I said that I'm going to fight like a Spartan to the death. So now I have to back up what – because that's yeah. the problem when you've got a big mouth like me, yeah. you've got to back it up. <laughs> and sometimes it gets you in a lot of trouble, man. And, and it did that day. But that's why a lot of people – that everyone sits there and goes, oh, I just want to be happy. I want to be happy. I want a job that I love. But no one's doing a job they love. Everyone's miserable with their work. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people are. And I'm like, you know, easy. You can, yeah, but then I won't have that much money. Well, don't worry about the money, man. Stop focusing on the money, you know. We took uh, – I talk about it all the time yeah. where you, I've got plenty of mates with a shitload of money that mm-hmm. are not happy. Yeah. And then I got plenty that have no money but are fucking happy. Oh, man. Like it's like because, you know, there's a balance. Yeah, you just yeah. need to find yeah. what your balance is. And sometimes your full-fledged playing job might not be what you love but it pays the bills and you might be doing something on the yeah, side. Yeah, And you're like, okay, you get to a stage what you want in life. And I, I see it all the time and I tell people all the time, like even with our business, it's like if someone's miserable, I'm like, man, we don't force you to come to work. Yeah, yeah. Like if you don't want to work here, go somewhere else yeah. that you enjoy because before you know it, your life's over. It's 100%, man. And it it sounds so easy to say but you're right. M- most people actually don't find that. That, that mix of, of how what 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 happiness or what being involved is something that you love yeah, doing. Yeah, p- personally from my experience, from why I think people don't do that is because they're so held down by the constraints of life, what they've been told is normal and, and they're too scared to step outside the boundary. They're like, if I do something that deviates the plan, then I, everything's going to fall apart. I'm like, I, I've never had a plan. I wake up most days and I'm like, all I know is my training plan. That's all I know. You know, we, we do jiu-jitsu on Wednesdays, we do kickboxing on Saturday. That's all I know. That's the Training is the first thing I do, that I know about. The second, and then after that, it's like, well, what am I doing today? People ring me. Oh, hey, Tony, do you want to, you know, even with this podcast, man, I was freaking out, man. I was like, they want to book me in, man. I can't do a booking. Like, you see, I freak out. I can't even watch a movie because I'm just, I don't do well with commitment. But, I, you know, that's why, I, that's probably why my girlfriend freaks out. Because like, you know, I actually say this to her, but no, I do love you, Annalise. Right, up until this point, we'll see. Probably, yeah. um, but I, I can't, I, I hate, because I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I think life is so, it should leave to spontaneous, you know what I mean? Leave it to be organic and natural. And, you know, I, I've, that's how I've always lived. And, yeah, people find me very strange, but I love it, man. I love it.